Troy? <laughs> <laughs> so that was the actor that played Troy in Evan. Hi there, and welcome to another episode of 411 Pop Culture, where real people talk about really everything. I'm Justin, and this is Danielle, and tonight we are going to watch for our first time viewing Dawn, the Lifetime Adaptation. Obviously, I'm super excited. Oh my gosh, me too. I've just been waiting. We have been waiting. And like I've said in other episodes, I know we have a lot of fans out there who are excited to watch this. We are too. For me, Flowers of the Attic was the first series that I read. I then read My, my Sweet Audrina, but then it was the Cutler series. So for me, I you know, most people went to the Castile series. I know you did. Mm -hmm. For me, this was the first one that I really like saw and read. So I'm really excited about it. I know you're all really excited about it. So we won't keep you in suspense. We'll get to it. But as always, if you like what you're watching, subscribe. Please comment below. Let us know what you thought of it. I know you will. And we're excited to hear about it. And uh, let's get going. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. I am so excited. <laughs> don't really remember him being so friendly. Though. Right. It's all right. Yeah, but I mean, maybe it's just like a... Well, again, I wouldn't be surprised if they try to make him such a great guy because for so much of the later novels, she's always trying to, like, bring him back. Yeah. Like, and it would be sort of like, if you, why would she want to bring the Ormond from her childhood in the books back? into her life because he wasn't that great a guy. He wasn't mean or anything. He was just really like a quiet mm -hmm. guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Again, the... <laughs> he looks okay as Jimmy right now. I don't hate it. No. Yeah. She's perfect. Yeah. Again, I haven't seen any promos of her, of her singing or anything yet, so I don't know if that's going to be a thing, I hope. Yeah, see, in the novels, he was more like, he would have been not harsh about that, but like, we gotta do what we gotta do, Jimmy, come on, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure that they, you know, they want to create, like how they did in Flowers of the Attic, this sort of like, everything seems perfect, yeah. the perfect family. Yeah, I guess the 70s, so yeah. reference to like Paul Newman yep. would work. And her outfit right yeah. there. Kids go to Embassy Peabody and go on to great things. And they got a music department like you wouldn't believe. Okay, there we go. So she's going to sing. I will say, you know, and it's been great. One of the writers uh, from this has reached out to us and. He is the writer of some of our favorite adaptations, uh, Gates of Paradise, the first couple Ruby movies. So I am hopeful. I am very hopeful. Me too. Even though, I mean, he reached out because of the name change. And he explained that, you know, it wasn't his decision to do that. That being said, and I appreciate that, I'd like to know whose decision it was right. and why it needed to be done. <laughs> They're totally overplaying Orman. Yeah, see, he's not, he was never this type of guy. Sure, there's your answer. And I did catch that whole, did you catch Jimmy peeping on her thing? Which I guess he did do kind of in yeah. the novels, but mm -hmm. like, again, it's just still so weird. weird. And I always said, you know, I, we've always talked about the incest in these movies. We always wanted them because of, like, the 87 adaptation not doing it. But uh, when you see it, it's a little bit harder to, to watch. You're like, oh. Yeah, I mean, it's like they know their brother and sister. They think they're brother and sister right. at this point. So it's just weird. But so far, I mean, we're right here already. And this looks about right. The whole, I remember smoking. Claire Sue mm -hmm. gets caught because Don. Goody two shoes. It's all right. It's all right. right. I will get over it. Explain but this. let me get it out a few times. 
Well, should be clear as soup. How do I know that the new cork into the plant about me? I, I just saw smoke coming from the lock. Oh, I don't be late. And obviously everybody's spoilers. You know, we're gonna be spoiling the novels and stuff. So you're warned, but obviously if you're watching this, hopefully you've already watched this and now you're coming to watch this with us. So I will say, um, I could see them being sisters, you know, oh, like, yeah, I was like gonna say that, yeah. it works, but not so like obvious that you'd be like, Oh, is there a twist coming up? Right. So we know the twist and hopefully if you're watching this, you've already seen this or read the books. Ugh. Yeah. That all happened, right? Yeah. <laughs> She's a good Dawn so far, though. I, I was I just that. thinking that. I was like, I actually like her better than the character I imagined. Sure. And that's yeah. very rare. Yeah. Because she does have that sweet quality, but she's not insufferable. Uh -huh. And again, luckily for the Cutler series, the ghostwriter never went so... The character looks and stuff weren't so ingrained in the story, which was why it was such a problem for, like, Heaven not looking right or why it needed to look right in the Castile series or the yeah. Dollinganger series. But do, for ironically, for not being so detailed in the books, they got it right yeah. for this. Yes. You know, like 100%. She's 100%. Yeah. For it Although, not being needed as much, they sure did get it right. We're trying yeah, to make no. up for the hair of mom. Yeah. Sally I mean, I feel like she should have dark hair. Yeah. Because like trying to make idea. it look like that's her real mom. Well, and in the books, that was her whole thing. She would, in the first couple chapters, she was always like, I don't look like anybody in this family, you know? I looked at pictures, and I'm always, mm -hmm. like, looking for somebody who looks like me. Go tell the family. You've actually heard of these people? I've heard of them. Come here. Why don't you just avoid this girl? I mean, if she's a bully... I like how they're bringing this up behind the scenes of their conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do too. Because we didn't have it in the book. Right. Well, I like how he says there's long chance all over the world, which I think is a fun wink to in the laundry series. The long champs were playing in a band. Yeah. Because it, it is supposed to be they're all over the place. Like, mm -hmm. I wonder if that's really her I don't singing think it voice. Is. It might be like a blend. They do that sometimes where, like, I think they did that with Renee Zellweger in um, the Judy Garland movie or something, like, where they kind of blend parts that are real. Oh, so do what they? They what Yeah, they did it. I know I know for sure they did in Fan of the Opera with my, or um, Mini Driver. Mm hmm. They use, no, you're not Emma Ross, a mini driver's character, did the operatic notes. It was fake, but the lower notes were really mini. Okay. Yeah. Hey, the janitor's daughter? Yeah. That's why you're here, isn't it? You're a charity case. Okay. Looks like we won't be bringing each other's hair. But for being poor white trash? Look, honey, that is unforgivable. She's a good Clara Sue. Mm hmm. A.K.A. Clara Jean. She's a good Clara Jean, but she's a, she's a good Clara Sue. Yeah. And I probably will always call her Clara Sue, but she, uh, she's good. Yeah. I mean, she's awful. <laughs> she's the worst. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he definitely looks like Philip. Like we, like we talked about, I was worried for the pictures we saw. Yep. But... Seeing him now, he 100. percent I'm. I believe it. I was thinking in my head that maybe this movie will remind me of Philip's charm because obviously later he's just right, terrible, he's just awful, and yeah. I'm I'm trying to enjoy this like. This side of Well, him. like we said I, in one of our earlier episodes, Dawn is the character that, like, everything terrible, that yeah. all the, the Ruby haven't, they always end up in bad situations, and they are bad, but they usually get away, like, without mm -hmm. it going too, like, she she's the one, like, she never gets away, and Christy never gets away, and 
It's just awful. So far, very faithful, though, too. Like, I, I'm i sure there's stuff that's missed. Like, the whole bar thing didn't happen, but you're going to lose some stuff in an 88-minute adaptation, yeah. you know? I don't remember Dawn being as, like, sassy a little bit. I'm sure she had her moments, but again, that was also the, like, criticism of the Jimmy, that's your sister! But that's also the criticisms of the ghostwriter, which is, you know, he does he makes them so good, the main girl. Yeah. Like, Kathy's a flawed character. Heaven's a yes. flawed character. Dawn, Ruby, they tend to be a little bit more on the goody-goody. And I like that the Laundry series also did that with Ruby. They gave her a little bit more... Yeah. A little bit more backbone, mm -hmm. and so yeah. I'm. I would be happy if the screenwriters ended up doing that for Dawn here in the performance. No, I, I don't disagree. Yeah. I just. Was... Oh look, there's the, um, yeah. mm -hmm. nice little foreshadowing that this guy's like noticing because he really does pop out of the blue. Not that I remember. Everybody's good. Mother and Dawn. Yeah. 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 Although, again, one thing that bodes well for the ghost-written stuff, each novel only takes place over, like, a year. Yeah. So we always said the best adaptations, like If There Be Thorns and stuff like that, the Ruby series, they only take place over a year, so they don't have to age them so fast, right. and it's more believable. I like how there's the wanted posters behind them. Oh, right. I think you are so threatened by this I mean, yeah, I'm enjoying the pacing so far, too. Yeah. Like, I feel like we should be right about here. Again, I know we're losing little tiny things, but as long as the essence of an adaptation of the novel is there, then I'm always going to be happy. You know, there's no such thing as anybody who's going to live up to the perfect casting or what we have in our head. Right. But as long as the essence is there, I'm usually it's pretty good. probably a good thing we're not part of the casting. <laughs> Why? Because unless Christy Swanson's walking, right. then nobody can be uh, Kathy. Yeah. We'd be so picky. Oh, Philip. Oh, look, I don't want things to move too fast either. When it comes down to it, it doesn't come. A Southern Joe. Oh. Maybe well, he was. Take you home. Well, I mean... always, always, it's always easy to say things mm -hmm. until you're actually in the position. We all know Philip is pretty devious and mm -hmm. devilish and awful in the end. Okay, yeah, I was wondering if they were going to show, like, this side of Jimmy or yeah. turn him into, like, Arden, the white knight hero of my sweet Audrina, who, like, could do no wrong. Right. You know? Which we know Arden was not, like, the novel. I'm talking about the adaptation. And I'm wondering if Clara Sue Jean, uh, that's what I'm going to call her, Clara Sue Jean, <laughs> is um, going to be more of the campier role. Like we've said, in each one, there's always one that kind of does go over the top, which I'm cool with. Like, Heather Graham kind of went over the top uh, in Flowers of the Attic. <laughs> Jason Priestley yes. in the the Castile series. Well, I we think, like... Yet, so. Right, but I think Clara Sue Jean in this will be that character. Well, and Agnes will be, I'm sure, Frank yeah. Drescher. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like, again, it is problematic that she looks just like her. Yeah. Like, the whole idea in my head, was always she was going to end up just looking like exactly like Laura yeah. Sue Cutler. My brother, the heartthrob. Um, Don, this is inappropriate. Right. And I don't understand how Ormond and Sally Jean can let their teenage kids share right. a bed. Yeah, I mean, I feel like they would have found some solution. If you could afford a sofa bed, you can afford to sell a sofa bed and get two little, like, cots. It's, it's, anyway, that was problematic with the boss. Right. Right. 
It's like you want them to get romantic, but then you're like, they're brother right. and sister! Well, and it's what we kind of touched on the one episode. Like, it doesn't really, you know, the Paul situation and Ruby mm-hmm. makes sense. They didn't know they were related. Yeah. And, but they had feelings. And here, they always thought they were related. So it's hard to think that, like, that just changes. Like, oh, we're not related? I guess I can look at you now. Like, right. what? I don't think it works like that. But again, reading it at, like, 13 or 14, I was like, oh, that makes total fun. <laughs> oh, we're already at the, uh... Yeah. Which I feel like about right. Like, it'd be, like, the first third of the novel yeah. ends at that point. I mean, that's a change, you know, in the novels, he was always really like uncomfortable with it, knowing he couldn't say this stuff. I'm kind of okay with the way that they've set this up. Like I said, we got the like version behind the scenes with the parents point of view. We now have him like say, I mean, I think it works in an adaptation. So I'm kind of fine with that little bit of a change. It's not mm-hmm. detrimental or anything, and I think it works. That was pretty. Um, it's not somewhere over the rainbow, which is what we're supposed to hear, which is fine. Again, I don't need every little thing, and I'm sure that would have been yeah. astronomical for copyrights. And in fact, why we didn't talk to the last minute and a half is because we can't, because I have copyright for this song, I'm sure. Well... <laughs> So, I had a thought. I get it. So, you know, they don't know this about us, but, you know, we sing, do karaoke, mm-hmm. whatever, blah, blah, blah. But every time I read Dawn, I never think of her as, like, a singer like that, I guess. Mm-hmm. Like, I know she's a singer, but I just, I always feel like Dawn is very soft-spoken and, like, yeah. doesn't have a powerful voice. So I'm really liking this. Yeah, well, I feel like it was a combination of, like, a sweet sound. Yes. And that's how, that is kind of how I was... In fact, I always had a problem with the novel, her singing Over the Rainbow, because I didn't picture her with, like, a Judy garland voice. Like you're saying, I always thought of her as sweet, spoke, soft-spoken. Yes. So a song like that actually works for Dawn, in my opinion. This is terrible. Yeah. Where's my brother? Jimmy's okay. He's just reprocessed. Her mom dies. Dad's arrested. No. Oh, how terrible. Safe. Kidnap me. Oh, oh no. That's a good one. Only I've lived with my father my whole life, and I think I'd have noticed if he had kidnapped someone. So, uh, that's a problem, don't you think? Don, this is gonna come as a shock. So I'll just tell you straight. Your parents kidnapped you. Hmm. I remember being 13, reading that, and being like, oh! yes. <laughs> just like, oh, and being like, oh, that's Sophie C. Andrews. Like, what a great twist. <laughs> so one thing that's slightly problematic is that I think they needed one more scene with Philip. Otherwise, his obsession with her throughout the remaining novels, movies, you know, like, because what happened was I get why they did it while the song was going on. Yeah. You know, I remember Laura Sue or Laura Jean or Sally Jean in the novels was like I could hear her singing, mm-hmm. but Philip, she was on a date with Philip, and that's where they almost really got close to doing it, and he, that's why his reasoning was for we have to continue. Mm-hmm. But like, she was falling in love with Philip at that point, yeah. So th- there was like a sort of like I don't know moment that at least gave reason of why Philip always kept wanting to go yeah. back to that. That's problematic as it is. Yeah. So, where are you taking me? I'm taking you home, no? That would be so crazy, though. I could not believe it. It's, God, it's just really terrible. I yeah. forget how terrible her story is. Like, tragic. Not yeah. I love it. I love how it looks. Well, I remember, like, I'm trying to imagine in the novel, like, it, I do feel like the the family part of the house did have a sort of more of a house look to it, but, like, mm-hmm. I mean, I guess, yeah, that definitely looks like a hotel right it there. Looks and good, yeah. 
Yeah, it's I not first, how I picture first, it. But. Right. For some reason, in the books, it's the inside of the hotel that I'm always remembering less than the outside. And so, as far as I can tell, it looks, mm-hmm. you know, how it should. And re- rereading Darkest Hour, it did. It was really, really old. You know, she was constantly Lillian making it newer. Yeah. But um, the family always lived in the older part of the house, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So. Hmm. May I know who I'm addressing? I'm Lillian Coughlin. I'm your grandmother. That's exactly how I am treating you. Every member of the Cutler family works. And tomorrow morning, you will start working as a chambermaid. Well, Well, and I can't understand the device of, like, having the family life be so much happier than it was in the novels to sort of juxtapose this. Yep. Um, Again, mixed feelings about it. But, like, she's doing great. (laughs) Like, I've tried to remember her from Darkest Hour, and that was always my struggle reading the prequel, was, like, how did that Lillian become Mm -hmm. the grandmother Cutler? But, like, the way she's playing it, I can kind of see the darkest hour, Lillian, how she kind of became like stiff and angry and bitter. And of course, you know, with the reputation, the lifetime, I mean, these are the versions now people are most familiar with other than, you know, even the 87 version, the grandmother, it's always a notorious role to have or a role you have to kind of live up to. So I'm sure she's going to, I think this she's is, doing great. Right, she's doing her take on it now, her turn. At, uh, I forget what the like Twitter hashtag was always. It was like bad grandma or something, mean grandma. She's doing her take on it now. I like that I've gone back and read Darkest Hour. And we had a conversation about how, like, wow, she was such a sweetheart. And I thought the same thing. Yeah, how, how did, did she, she become, become this? Yeah. But I like how they're playing this character because... When you first start reading Dawn, you're like, gosh, this woman is wicked. Right. But then when you, it changes your perspective yeah. seeing it now. You know, then... Wake up. Do you know what time it is? That's the only picture I have of my mother. This worthless domestic is not your mother. And if you need pictures of her, you should memorize. I don't know how she got through all that. Right. That looks I know, right. I pictured yeah, it, yeah. that is, yeah. Like, the sort of English tutor style wasn't really, but, like, the rest, like, that really is mm-hmm. what I what I kind of thought. Yeah. Because I didn't think of it so much as, like, a hotel. I thought it was, like, like a resort. Like, right. Sure it looks like that. Yeah. Yeah, so... According to that, it said 1957, so right now it'd be like, what, 1970? Mm-hmm. No, 1970, like three, 1973. Troy? <laughs> <laughs> so that was the actor that played Troy in Heaven. Yes. He makes a better Randolph. Yeah, already, because <laughs> he was not the right Troy. At all. Sorry. He's the perfect Randolph. But he would be a perfect Randolph. Already knowing how this actor is, everything, he would be a perfect Randolph, 100%. So I'm glad they found the right role for him. Yes, it certainly wasn't Troy. Yeah. I can't No blonde hair. <sighs> See, I won't act like I, we, I mean, I don't know if I'm 100% certain that she did have blonde hair in the novels, but, like, that was in my idea because she's supposed to look like this family. Like, yeah. you know. We've missed you. I can never tell you how much. We looked for you. Oh, for years. I suppose to you we must be strangers. Of course, my darling, I understand are you having a problem with this scene? I've been no. Poor Why? Because I just imagined her laying in bed like, oh, like she, you know. Well, that's, she probably will get there, but she was like this, kind of she? manic and like, 
overcompensating, knowing full well that she's going to never live up to anything but get, get everything out of the bed until, you know, things finally happen. But. Well, my dear, there are some more to etiquette. Who's that creepy cat statue in the back? Yeah, no, that's a little weird. Yeah. Situation. Like, look at it. I don't recall that being a thing. I don't either. Such a poor family. My cat is so distracting. My name is Dawn. Come with me. I'll make sure they serve you up something nice for lunch. Yes, yes. And the red paint is a bit much. Plenty of time to catch up and get to know each other proper. We have all the time in the world. Oh, this is Arnell. He was my very best friend in the whole world. Yeah, I don't remember this being a good thing. No. <laughs> so I'm like, that's such a weird anyway. But I no, I thought that was how Laura or Laura Sue Jean uh was because I mean that's how she was. She would do what you said, you know, but that was when if she was presented with anything stressful. But like if nobody was stressing her out, she would like try to overcompensate. For not being emotionally available. Yeah, I, I don't think they're making a prequel to this one as of yet, unless, I mean, they plan on doing something like, you know, Dawn or, you know, The Meadows, The Origin. Mm, but, like, yeah. I mean, I don't think there's enough. I mean, I didn't think there was enough for a four episode thing on Garden of Shadows. But, again, we loved the first three parts, just that last part. I think it should have been a three-parter and just kind of ended well, it there. <laughs> you have to remember, Garden of Shadows happened over a long period of time. Right. So I'm glad yeah. they broke it up in that episode. No, and that's what I'm saying. I think it worked well. I'm saying they went yeah. one step too far because of all they messed up in oh, part yeah, of four. Course. But so, like, if they had just ended it three parts, I think it would have been perfect. I do feel like I remember this sort of scene where she was, like, hunting around looking for... Mm -hmm. Pictures and stuff, or memorabilia. Sneaking around in my hotel, Emma. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Yes, I understand. Good, Eugenia. Very good. Oh, she is just awful. Like I can't. I feel like she was this awful though she in was. the novel. Like I'm trying to remember, and I'm like, oh. It's hard because Darkest Hour, like, it makes you, you, like, forget all the bad stuff. Right. Is this here darker all of a sudden? I, I guess school let out. How do you turn it off? Uh, just like that? Man, I still feel about you the way I felt before. I, uh, I really want to kiss you. Awkward. You can't do that anymore. But, a believable scene. I feel like this is kind of like the dialogue in the novel, too. And I, yeah. Are you kidding? No. Simple as that. Jeez. Oh, I she has a little bit of a hypocrite because she, she gets with Jimmy. When that's what I was kind of thinking about in the back yeah. of my mind. Like, no time to think about this until I see the, the brother that's no longer my brother. Right. But I feel like that's the believable scene. Like, yeah. He, he doesn't just disappear. Like, to pretend it. You know, I get you want to move on, and I, you know, I probably I would do the same, but you, it, those are feelings you had. You can't just turn them off. Yeah. Sure, act on them, but I don't believe mother would want me getting involved in this. Nobody is helping me. It's a Yeah. Those are heavy. Right. Oh. <laughs> Ain't you a laughing right? You worked too hard, Don. You should have taken a break. Tell that to grandmother Cutler. They're all the 70s. Just leave it. I know about the history. See, I feel like we're not saying as much during these parts because I'm just so nervous, like, yes. knowing the things that are coming. Like, when I see her and Philip together, I'm like, mm -hmm. when I see her pop in, I'm like, I know what's happening, coming. To be alone together. 
satisfy my talent. Then we're in agreement once again. He spelled darn wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you will wear that. When <laughs> that was good. I'm glad, see, I'm glad they're adding that side of, like, giving Don a little bit more than just, like, I'll say nothing and be meek, like, <laughs> like, she gets like this at the end of the novel. Why would you assume that either of them could defy me? Yeah, I remember being bitterly mm. disappointed with the novel reading that. Yes. Because you are hopeful that Randolph's going to be somewhat of a hero for her. That's the start of his mama's boy issue. Yes. That is the difference between the ghostwriter and B.C. Andrews, is I feel like he would have been somewhat more strong. Mm. Like, not just weak, and that's his character. Weak and crazy, that's his character. You know, like, there's, a little, there's usually a little bit more. Gosh, that reminds me of working in a restaurant. <laughs> you were given a name tag. What was it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess it must have fallen off somewhere. You won't be fed until you change your mind. Hello. Mm -hmm. I love seeing this. Yeah. Like. Like, I'm just, I hate her, yes. like, like I, I'm having all these angry feelings, but at the same time, it's wonderful seeing it come to life. Yes. Because I feel like that's spot on. It is spot on. Yeah. Sis, I heard you haven't eaten anything in two days. You must be so hungry. Well, thanks, but that's for me. I'm trying to cut out sugar. And that is like how I pictured her room. I remember mm -hmm. it being like yes. a bare, tiny little thing. Like, mm -hmm. that's that they did a good job. Yeah. So, way more pros so far than yes. any cons of this. Except for the name and the hair so far. Right. Everything well, else is yeah, pretty good. Yeah. And it's such like a weird I change. I'll never really understand it, the name. Yes, it's, it's me. And again, if anybody doesn't know why we're not going on and on about the clear Sue change and all that, we've discussed it in another episode. Again, I talked to the writer. He was very kind to reach out. Uh, you know, he said he knew that it wasn't supposed to be this. Da da da. The order came down again. I don't know who though. Why somebody even had that as an order? Like, but we know. That's all I'm saying. It's such a little thing, really. I can't remember if he does get the letter out or not. <sighs> He must, because I feel like at the very end, Ormond does write back or something, like... Yeah. But yeah, I think it's a good Jimmy. I thought, you know, when we were looking at the pictures, I thought he was going to be too skinny, young-looking, I don't know. There's something with his deeper voice, the combinations blending well, that I think he's, he's a good Jimmy so far. I like him better than what I pictured him as, honestly. Sure, for sure. And... Yeah, because I think I was worried about, like, because they're using the same cast, which is the right call for the next couple movies, and I think. And uh, so I need to know how they're going to look a little older. She seems so young looking, but I'm mm -hmm. hopeful that they'll pull it off. Yeah. I wanted to see the police station, but they wouldn't let me. I don't know. I know that Dan's a liar, though. Mm -hmm. See, that's on top of it. They made Ormond such a nice guy that. Jimmy had a really not great relationship right. with him, and they, that's lost a little bit because they were making Ormond such a yeah. I'm father knows best, you know, beef cleaver, whatever. You're not my sister anymore. I don't know. Just, I said this voice in the back of my head that told me that you're just a little bit different. Okay, I'm glad that, like, in this first scene, he wasn't all like, yeah. hey, baby, hey, baby, sister, not sister, like. Just a snack from the area. Here's the guy. <laughs> just random. I'm gonna need you to come with me. Not this random, random, but yeah. The writer, luckily, this. Yeah. Very expensive necklace. Right, I see where this is going. Undress. What? You can either do it voluntarily, 
or Mr. Hornbeck will do it for you. Awful. Just awful. <laughs> you realize this proves nothing. There's something about you. Look at this. Lillian fires people for folding napkins wrong. Why would she let this woman look out for another grandchild when one was kidnapped on her watch? Did you ever meet her? You know, and I know this was all in the book, her being like a detective trying to figure it out, but having it so streamlined, I like it. I like the, like, mm -hmm. it's almost like uncovering a mystery throughout. You know, in the books, you're, you know, at least 13, I'm sort of like, is she going to choose four? Is she gonna <laughs> yeah. Choose? Like, that's what I was focused on, but it really was like yeah. her trying to uncover all this, and so I'm enjoying it for a movie. Mm -hmm. And it would help for people who have This is probably the first adaptation. People who have not read the book are going to be 100% entertained yes. because it's like this would be surprising yes. and effective. We already know all this, mm -hmm. so it's not super so for us. But for for somebody know. watching this in the movie, I can see being very interesting. Tell me. Yes. I don't see the same anymore. First you were a long chat, right? And now, you're a color. What does that mean? Uh, I've just, I've just been having confusing thoughts about you ever since all this happened. I've been looking at you differently lately. Well, I mean, you're right. I'm not. Look, Jimmy, it I do like the like I feel like deftly they're handling the Jimmy Dawn mm -hmm. development. It's not I, I, I'm not cringy at all. Yeah. I love her red shoes. Mm. My what? Your boyfriend. Fella that I saw you coming out of Philip's secret place the other day. What do you want? I want you to do the right thing, Don. I want you to confess. To what? To stealing that necklace that disappeared. I didn't steal it, Clara Jean. Anyway, those are my terms. Just think it over. Is that what she had her do in the novel? I thought she had her like do all this extra work for her or something. Like, I feel like she came upon the necklace, Dawn, realizing that Claire Sue yeah, must have put, put it, it in yeah. after. Well, Dawn realized Claire Sue must have put it in after they searched the room. Mm -hmm. So Claire Sue had made a mistake. But I don't remember her being like, yeah, this. There's your thief. Oh, Jimmy, you have to go. But maybe, I mean, I don't know. No, I, feel I feel like she, she was she having her do all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, I feel like that's true. Every was a liar and a thief. Okay, the deal, Dawn. Oh, don't hate me for not keeping mine. Man, I wanted to just give Clarissa a whack across the face. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't remember that. Mm -hmm. We're having different reactions. I'm like, ooh. But, sure, why not? They're not really not? related. I know, but I feel like that, I don't know. And they were both just but traumatized. Sure, but she's kind of, like, uh, my awkwardness is that she's doing it in front of the grandmother and the father because I feel like her whole thing has been like, this is my family, this is my family, and now I'm making out with who you thought was my brother or who I thought was my brother. You know, like, for her, I feel like it was the wrong, not because of that part of it, like, the incest part. I, I feel like, fine, they kiss at this point. But again, because she did it in front of the grandmother that I'm, I'm cringing. Philip, get out of here. I heard about Jimmy getting caught. I just can't stand to see you upset, Thorne. I mean, I think this is where... I know I would do it. I think you do. I just want to make you feel better, somehow. Hey, Phil, I'm asking... What is I Get out! It wasn't as bad as it was. Right. For the better of when people do what mother says. I feel like we haven't seen Laura Sue. I feel like we would see her more at this point. Yeah. Like in the novel, I feel like she went up once or twice. Yeah, I think so too. 
again, I know they can't include everything, but I feel like even in the movie, at some point, she should have been, there should be another scene with her. Yeah, but omitting those scenes is just, it's the same. I just think that the absence of those scenes is still in and of itself adequate because she didn't build any kind of rapport with Laura Sue. Because when she did go visit her, that's kind of when she was out of it. Sure. I guess, like, they're putting so much on Randolph and I wouldn't have, like, I don't see any reason why not to have had that scene or have a scene with him saying essentially the same thing, but she's like, she's gone to like say something to Laura Sue. He's there. He's like, I'm going to get the letter out, you know, because I feel like she did go to her mother once or twice and be like, Hey, can you do something? You're my mother. You know, at this point it's fine. I'm not upset about it or anything. And I get it. We have to squish it down into yeah. this, this amount of time. But again, I just, for what, how, what Laura Sue, assuming the trajectory is ultimately the same through Secrets of the Morning and Twilight's Child, particularly. Dawn ends up being with Laura Sue quite a bit. I remember in the in Twilight's Child, like they never have a good relationship, yeah. but they have a relationship by that point. Yeah. And so I feel like it's needed at this early on to have it. You know, I don't want it to be like Toby popping out in the Castile series all of a sudden, like, you know, in Fallen Hearts, he finally shows up. Not that that would be the same because we right. have seen her, but um, no, I, I don't know. I have mixed feelings too about what they just did with Philip. I, I was just, just thinking that I don't want it to happen to yes! Dawn, but it downplays how horrible in the stuff that has happened to Dawn. And I like it's a big part of Philip's trajectory. Yes. he did what he did to Dawn, right? And and because of that, like because like I'm trying to find a way to say it without sounding awful because it's such a horrible thing. But, like, because of that, that keeps him infatuated with her right. even more so. So I'm thinking that they're going to have it pay off in terms of, like, maybe by Twilight Shot. Because he does almost again. Mm-hmm. I can't, like, it's fuzzy. Yes. Like, but I know that he did at least once. And again, yeah, not that I want it to happen house. or anything. Right. He came back in while yeah. Christy was there. And then what he does with Christy. And that's what makes this particular, the Cutler series, so awful is, again... All the things that happened to all the Ruby, Heaven, Kathy, yeah. anything that could have happened to those, usually they get out of it one way or another. Dawn never did. No. And that was sort of the thing about the Dawn series is that it is kind of a bleak, depressing series, which is Cap- the prequel Darkest Hour. That is probably the most ble- the bleakest That's of terrible. all of the prequels. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I they definitely downplayed it. Again, not wanting it to happen or see it, but they could have implied that it happened. They didn't actually have to show it. Right. And I think it does take away. That's what I wanted to Well, yeah. No, I would hope they wouldn't show it. And they would just, we we know what happened. Yeah. Uh, Again, I don't want it to happen, but I think it needs to happen. It does because it takes away from the whole, like, the whole series. Because that's how he is. Right. He's creepy. But the Cutler's Cove, I'm, I do like. We haven't seen a lot of it, but I think they did a good job with it. I love Clara C's room. I think it's perfect. Yeah. What did I ever do to deserve this? We're supposed to be my solo. Otherwise, I don't. Then one day you just show up and ruin everything. I was like playing second fiddle to a ghost. And that's my fault. Sure, that was mine. Now I have the chance to make your life a living hell. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, there you go. Yeah. It's not Dawn of the Novels, but I'm fine with it. I love it. <laughs> Maybe she does do it at one point. I mean, I feel like it was later novels she did. Because Clara Sue really is one of the worst she is villains. The worst. But she's also one of, the, like, again, I think that's a good motivation. You can understand why Clara Sue is the way. But I, I feel like she is sometimes a little too two-dimensional mm-hmm. so like i'm glad that like yeah seeing her come to life it's it's good and Hi. i'm glad that Don smacked the heck out of her Miss Dawn, who used to be a nurse at cutler's cove but i never approved of laura jean and oh. i suppose she saw some things <laughs> in your mother that randolph yeah. was behind to. after yeah. your brother philip was born your mother seemed to grow bored her preference was singers those flings would last only as long as the singers played the hotel and moved on. Oh, they didn't do the no. whole happy birthday thing, which I thought was one of the cruelest well, things. Well, they're trying to... Lillian looks younger there than she did in the wedding scene. Yeah, I agree with that. But when Ormond and Sally Longchamp suffered a miscarriage, 
Your grandmother saw an opportunity in that. You just brought it right out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my darling. So good to see you. You've come for a visit. I came to talk. Well, I've been wanting to talk oh, to you. you yeah, I guess so this works. I, I mean, I knew they were they were going to have to have this by the end. But. Yeah. For wardrobe. It's longer past time you talked about my kidnapping. Besides, I'm not feeling very well today. Maybe you should go and talk That's what friends. I mean. Like, that we, we had at least one more time really that we know that she does this. You know, that's what I was trying to say. Acting Is weak and tight. Like, what you were expecting when we first saw her. Right. Like, this is what? too much to handle. You should go. I need to sleep. You knew about grandmother's plot for my kidnapping. I wasn't my choice. Your grandmother has the final word on everything. What could I do? You could have said no. Yep. Yup. Terrible thing. I'm not a terrible person. Yeah, but I don't. We started to kind of say it, but like I am missing that, like the whole Lillian Cutler's birthday. She all she had to give was a song, and you know Lillian gives her a rough time about yeah. it, which is what makes Lillian decide to send her to New York. Yeah. Like, hey, you happen to have a good voice, though. So maybe that's gonna happen at the end. Maybe that's how. I'm hoping that's how they kind of yeah. end this whole thing. I am really loving it. I really have not had almost anything bad to say about yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much right A, B, C, D following by yeah. the numbers. I do like the slight changes. Again, I, I can't remember if she, at this point, Dawn slapped Clara Sue, but I'm glad she did. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the reason I'm bringing that up is just I feel like this Dawn is a little bit more assertive than she was yeah. in the novels, and I'm glad because I feel like that was a choice they made with the Ruby series. Um, who was the same screen, the same writer, screenwriter, mm -hmm. and it was the one thing I really liked about that. I was, you, you know, did. yeah, you liked I really that liked that, and so I'm glad that this Dawn's also doing that. I try to make everybody who stays at the hotel feel like family. Grandmother, huh. can I pull you away for a moment? I need to talk to you. Eugenia, it's not polite to interrupt. We'll talk later. I went to visit my old nurse, Miss Dalton, earlier. Let's talk now. Believe me, if you think things, old woman. Mother has confirmed everything Miss Dalton told me. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> All right, fine. So let's assume you know the truth. Tell? Yes, though. Mm. Do you really think you're intimidating me? Yes. <laughs> I don't. I don't think that's how it works in the novel, but I no. love. It. I love it. You do too. Maybe you are a cutler. I mean, that wouldn't be something that she would say because mm -hmm. that she have to admit she really is a cutler. I want to be treated decently around here by everyone. In the fall, I want to go to a school with an excellent music department so I can pursue my singing. And one more thing. You're going to call me Dawn. <laughs> she's getting all new clothes. Mm -hmm. Well, sweetheart, she can't really wear your hand-me-downs for the rest of her life. To Rumi, where Eugenia's petite frame. Mm -hmm. It's Dawn. Sure, but that doesn't really work at this because she's right. just as skinny, but... Please remember that. Hmm. And like I said... Beneficial for both of us. So, can we consider that settled? We may. I don't know how I feel about that scene. Why? I don't know. I just I don't think Lillian would, would act like that. I guess. Uh, I I feel like see I think it was like the other side. I feel like Dawn would have been like thank you, like still say thank you. Mm -hmm. Lillian has too much pull with the police in this town and would never let it happen. Kicking and screaming and fighting, he was in a damn cell. I could not see what you were on day one. Do you mean you right away? Girl, I'm so, so sorry. Dad, if you have nothing to be sorry about, I don't blame you for anything you did. I know you were just trying to give me the best life you could. Yeah. What do you mean? What do you mean so I feel like this is when he became a little yeah. softer. lighter, softer, yes. That's my girl. I, I really do like that. 
himself. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see Fran drive shirt. Mm -hmm. So that must be Trisha. Mm -hmm. There's no way to escape that. The flowers in the attic. How many people can save the audition for the famous Mr. Sutton? Is it just me or is he insanely good looking? Mm. <laughs> he was my brother. He's all you love. Here, people still frown on stuff like that. The lifetime of the lifetime. It's passed his own birth. Oh, and that must have been Emily right there at the mm -hmm. end. I, you know, we haven't seen anything pertaining no. to the meadow stuff, and that is all secrets of the morning. Uh -huh. So I'm excited about that, and um. Yeah, I, I, you know, I feel like Secrets of the Morning is also one of my favorites mm -hmm. because, one, I always seem to love the second novel for the most part, except for Pearl and the Mist, which was, though, actually my favorite, I think, of the adaptations, but the novel wasn't. But all the other second novels I love, and I remember because this one, I was anticipating it. Like, I had Dawn, I had all the other ones, I had to go out, I was... 14 when it was at 13 14 we right. got i get it next so i had to wait to get it i remember anticipating and finally having it it was on christmas break and i remember reading the scenes that were where she was at the apartment during like the christmas holidays at michael's apartment mm -hmm. and i was like in, it was like snowing outside right. and i'm like oh real life all right but here's our review so what did you think i loved it it is the the best adaptation so far that i think i've seen because i had the least amount of like criticism about certain things sure. and i even think with you know the writer reaching out saying about the clara jean thing clara sue thing it wasn't something we had to dwell on because we kind of had an answer to it but right, i mean right. cutler's cove dawn's bedroom even like the inside of cutler's cove looked like i had imagined it except for the sally jean and, and clara or and laura sue hair pretty much everything was on par yeah, I'm glad, too, that he reached out because I think that it would have changed my experience watching this, yes. knowing that, like, not knowing somebody behind the scenes knew something was wrong but yeah. couldn't help it. Uh, I think that would have been something that frustrated me this whole movie and I wouldn't have been able to really sit and enjoy it. So I was able to enjoy it. Um, I also think so far this is probably the most faithful of all the adaptations. Yeah. I will say that I ha I didn't leave feeling this like I did when we watched the Laundry series, and I was sort of like, oh, I can't wait to the next one. I'm excited for the next one, and I'm excited right now. But I did, for some reason, have a higher you know, energy right now when we finished watching it. And this one I'm still excited about. I'm still excited about next week. But it was incredibly faithful, and the stuff that they changed I was fine with. Yep. You know, there's going to be changes. They have to squish it down. We did say, you know, I mentioned the whole Laura, I wish, Laura Sue. I wish there'd been a little bit more with her. I get it. There's not going to be everything. Yeah. You know, that's just how it is. Just personal taste. But overall, I thought they did a really nice job. I did too. And I think we want to see the next ones, but this one ended on a very high note. It did. And, and as you've said, and we've talked about throughout this, it's like it is a very low series. Like it's very mm -hmm. bleak and yeah. tragic and terrible. Um, the things that happened to Dawn. So the fact that it kind of like, she got her power back. Yeah. She got what she wanted. She's leaving. It's ending on this really high note. Agreed. So we're not so like, we're, we're sure. feeling that, that hope. I will say the one difference between this and the, the laundry series, because I feel like the, the Ruby also ends on that sort of note too, mm -hmm. where she's got the upper hand on Daphne. Yeah. I believed it more in this than I did with ruby yeah. kind of confronting daphne at the end of ruby um and i loved ruby i i, I think yeah. that so far was the best of all the adaptations like the series as a whole but i feel like it was done better in this you're saying it like the uplifted note yeah. i feel like dawn ends like that too the, yeah. the book and in this version i believed it like the whole confrontation and maybe it was just because of donna mills was who was going with it this this actress the way they performed it again with the scenes with jimmy too i thought everything was well tempered i think is the word i'm looking yeah. for like it was measured it wasn't didn't feel measured it didn't feel anything but like the it never felt like in the novels I did feel maybe because it was almost detrimental that you were in Dawn's point of view you knew she also kind of had feelings for Jimmy yeah. so the fact in this because you're not in her view you are sort of able to be like you see her being like cautious like oh mm -hmm. I see your feelings well that should have 
shouldn't matter. I still care about you. Yeah. And then, again, I wish she hadn't done the kiss in front of uh, Lillian and all that, only because it, not because of the potential, like, they were brother and sister, just because she's going on about how her families aren't, her family's not a liar and a thief, the family she grew up with, yeah. but then she's making out with this guy she thought was her brother in front of them. It, it just, it doesn't work for I the point she's trying to make. Agreed, but I think yeah. for cinematic value, it was to show, like... She's going to be uh, rebelling against it. Like, mm. I don't care what you guys say, I'll do what I'm going to do. Yeah. And again, overall, I really thought they did a really good job, and I am looking forward to Secrets yes, of the Morning. absolutely. And again, like I said at the end, I think it's my favorite, you know, it was my favorite of the books at the time, um, of the Dawn series, which I, the Cutler series will always be super special to me. It was yeah. the first one that I read that I didn't, you know, Flowers in the Attic, even before I read it, you know what Flowers in the Attic is, right. you know. My Sweet Aldrina was very much like that too. It was the first one that was going to be different, and so it's always going to be special to me for that. So, but let us know. What did you all think? I'm, I have feelings. There's lots of strong opinions out there. I know there are, but we're looking forward to hearing everything that you have to say. And as always, it helps us a lot. Please subscribe. Please comment below. Please give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you next week for Dawn Secrets of the Morning. John Amos.